Hello everyone. We will continue the previous program. And in the previous program, what we did so far, now we are using join to fetch data from multiple tables together. Means we will write a single query to fetch that data from multiple tables. So what we did in the previous video, we declared one structure of six columns. We declared one internal table and work area of six columns. Now we are selecting that data of how many columns? Six columns from two tables. Means from header table, join is the keyword and then we passed the item table. Now you are going for six columns. Now we should tell the system that these four columns are from header table. These two columns are from the item table. Previously, there was no confusion because at a time you are only fetching data from how many table? Single table at a time. But now in one query itself, you are fetching data from multiple tables. So we need to tell that these columns from first table, these columns are from second table. Before we do this, we will learn the concept of alias also. What is alias? Alias is just a shortcut. It will make your task easy. Suppose I'm writing first table as A, second table as B. So what is alias? Alias is just a shortcut. So it means for the header table, what is the shortcut A? For the second table, what is the shortcut B? It is optional. If you do not want to create, no problem. It's total your wish. But at that time, you need to refer with the full table name. Just see, it is very difficult for some time to refer this full table name completely. But if you will go for shortcut, now what we will do, we'll simply refer A or we will simply refer B. Suppose if you are not creating alias, then how you need to refer? You need to put the full table name. You need to put the full table name. But rather than full table name, now we have a alias. What is the alias? Alias name is A. So I'll simply write A. Now the most important part, whenever you want to refer the columns, we need to use tilde operator, tilde operator. So what this tilde operator is, whenever you are going for join, it is, it is understood by the SAP that this particular column, it has to take from which particular table, header table. So how you will refer the columns, how you will refer the column of the table by using which particular operator, tilde operator. Sometimes people tell it as destructor operator also. It is called as tilt operator, tilt. If I will just write, it is tilt operator, tilt. And the symbol is this. So you can refer the columns by using tilt operator. Now it is total your wish. You want to refer with the help of alias or you want to refer with the help of table name. But if you create alias, it will make your task easy. Second column is also from the header table. Third column, fourth column, but fifth and sixth column is from the item table. And you can see in one single query itself, we are fetching data from multiple tables. So we have six columns. First four columns are from header. Other two columns are from item. And we put from first table alias A, join second table alias B. Now, what is the common what is the common column between both the table? It is a golden rule. Whenever you are going for join, it means tables must have a common field. 
what is the common field between both the tables? The common field is order number. So how you can give the common field between both the table? What is the joint condition between both the tables? We will give using on, on with the help of on keyword, you can give the common condition. First table, order number is equal to which table order number? Second table order number. So first table order number is equal to second table order number. Now we need to store this data of six columns into internal table. So how we will store? You all know into table. What is the name of internal table? LT underscore final. Now what one part is missing? The one part is where condition based upon what you are fetching that data. So I will write where order number. You all know your input is select option, range of order number. So you have to use in S underscore O N. The most important part now, in this case, we should not confuse SAP because order number is in header table also. Order number is in item table also. So we need to tell SAP that we are referring the order number of which particular table first. So we'll simply put A. We'll simply put A. We need to refer the order number of header table, header table. Because you all know very well, there is no existence of item if header is not there. It is never, never the case that a order number is in item table and it is not in the header table. So whatever the input of order number you are passing, it should firstly, firstly check into which particular table, header table, header table. So you can see. We learned a new query, new open SQL query in which we are fetching data from multiple tables together. How you can fetch data? Select, you can specify the columns and you need to specify the tables using from. You can create the alias of the table and you can specify through alias. If you are not creating alias, you can directly specify through table names also. And we need to use tilde operator to specify the columns. You can specify the common condition using on. You can specify the join condition using on. You need to store into internal table and you can pass the where condition. But while passing the where condition, check because in our current scenario, order number is in both the tables. So we should tell SAP that it should firstly check the order number into which particular table. I'll check the syntax and I will activate. So our data is in this internal table, LT underscore final. Loop at lt underscore final into lwa underscore final. For every loop, there is a end loop. Now I will display that data of six columns. You all know we can display that output using write statement. lwa final order number. LW a final order date. LW a final payment mode. LW a final currency. LW a final order item number. LW a final item cost. And I use slash so that new our new row will be new uh, record will be in the new line. I will activate. 
Now for the best understanding, I will show you in debugging mode. I will give same to same one, two, three order number. You can see input is on the right hand side. We have the input is on the right hand side, one, two, three. This is our internal table of six columns together. And this internal table is blank, zero records as of now. Once I will execute, now you can see we have eight records in the internal table together. First four column data is from first table. Last two column data is from which table? Item table. Previously, you have written individual queries. You fetch data from first table, then you fetch data from second table, and then you merge those two internal table. Now we have written a simple, simple. We have written a single query to fetch data from multiple tables. This loop will continue eight times. And now we have the output. Yes, in the future, we will go for best programming practices. At that time, I will let you know that you have to go for for all entries in or you have to go for join in the future or in the upcoming videos. But at this point of time, now you know both the ways to fetch data from multiple tables, to fetch the data from the tables. So that's it in this video. Thank you.